slow the composition of large organic compounds such as starch into small organic compounds such as glucose in the presence of mineral acids such as yeasts or catalysts such as yeasts okay so without wasting any of your time the answer to this is not a all right is not b conversion of sugar no breaking down of sugar to carbohydrate no rather conversion of alcohol to sugar remember glucose is sugar glucose is sugar right the starch that i mentioned the other time right your sorry the answer is a breaking down of carbohydrates such as millets rice to glucose to glucose breaking down of large organic compounds such as starch in this case carbohydrates to small ones such as glucose right or your sugar in the presence of what of catalyst so the answer to that is a 11 general formula for the alkanals i've mentioned it is rcho d if a is what alkanals b that is another way of writing rcor is ketones alkanons and c is alkanoids yes that's rcoor so d is the answer number 12 Catalytic hydrogenation of benzene. All right. This is an addition reaction. It reduces the unsaturation level of benzene. Anyway, the answer is cyclohexane. B and C are correct. So number 13, a trihydric alkanol. Anyway, that is the way of a, a, a type of classification of alkanols. You can classify alkanols to primary, secondary, and tertiary, or monohydric, dihydric, and trihydric. Trihydric simply means there are three hydroxy groups attached to the alkanol. So without wasting your time, the answer is glycerol. This is one, two, three, trihydric. Um, one, two, three, trihydric alkanol. Propan, propan, one, two, three, triol. So the way I memorize this is glycerol has three syllables. Glycerol. So three hydroxyl is attached to it. Why glycol has two syllables? Glycol, two hydroxyl is attached to it. So glycerol is three hydroxyl. Glycol is two hydroxyl. So glycerol is trihydric. Glycol is what? Uh, dihydric. Dihydric. So moving forward to number 13, proteins in acid solutions undergo not polymerization, not substitution, not fermentation, rather it is hydrolysis. Okay, protein gets get broken down into its, the peptide uh, chain bonds get broken down into amino acids through a process known as hydrolysis. React it with water to break it down. Lysis is a word for breaking down, okay, hydro with water, protein got broken, air broken down into amino acids, okay, by the process called hydrolysis. Number 14, characteristic reaction of the compounds with general molecular formula CNH2N, that is an alkene. Alkene usually undergoes, what is characteristic of alkene is addition and polymerization. Addition and polymerization, so the answer to this is polymerization. Esterification is characteristic of alkanoids. Deoxylation is characteristic of alkanoic acids. Substitution is characteristic of saturated organic compounds like, like alkanes. So the answer to this is polymerization. Number 15, the pair of organic compounds that are isomers is, you know what isomers is? This, the typical easy shortcut to this is the isomers must have the same molecular formula, the same carbon, the same number of carbon, the same number of hydrogen. So you are going to be looking at pairs that have the same number of carbons and hydrogen, or maybe the same carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. For instance, A, benzene, C6H6. Methyl benzene, there's an addition of CH3. So it is not an isomer with benzene. 
B, trichloromethane, three chlorine atoms. For this one, tetrachloromethane, four chlorine atoms. Ethanol is having oxygen. Propane is not having oxygen. Put one in, four carbon, and then um, eight hydrogen. Put two in, four carbon, eight hydrogen. So the answer is D. 16. A burning candle produces water and candle is an hydrocarbon. All hydrocarbons will give you water and CO2. Whether it is burning candle, whether it is kerosene, whether it is crude, anything that is gotten from crude oil, petrochemicals, they are hydrocarbon. And when they undergo oxidation, they give you what? When they get burnt, burning simply means you are reacting them with oxygen. They give you Carbon four oxide and water. So the answer is B. 17. Which of the following represents hybridization in a time? One of the concepts you also have to understand. Mixing of atomic orbitals to form an hybrid orbital. For our case, it is sp3. Our kings, it is sp2. Our guys, it is sp. For your information, single bonds carbon. Hybridizing sp3, double bonds sp2, triple bonds sp. Ethyne is triple bond. So the answer is D. The answer is what? Is D. 17. So quickly moving on to 18. All right, we have like three slides to go. Um, quickly moving on to what? 18. Uh, this is a sugar, a disaccharide, C12, A12, O11. They usually have this general molecular formula. We are it with an acid to give you a charred carbon as a product, a removal of water, and the H2SO4 so is there. In the reaction above, the of a 6 acid function as you are removing water, that is a dehydrating agent. Not a dehydrate agent, it's supposed to be dehydrating agent. Oxidizing agent, no. Reducing agent, no. Catalyst, no. It's a dehydrating agent because you are removing water. 19. The formula CH2 for ethanoic acid is regarded as ethanoic acid. All right, it's an alkanoic acid that has CNH2N plus 1COOH. All right. So the molecular formula for ethanoic acid is what? Um, that's CH3, COOH. In essence, we have three, three formulas for organic compounds, empirical, molecular, and structural. So the simplest formula is empirical. This is not even an empirical formula for ethanoic acid. There's supposed to be oxygen there. It's not the molecular formula, it's not the empirical, it's not the structural. Is the structure has to be structures. It's not the general. General is CNH2 plus 1 COOH. So, but this, the nearest answer is empirical. Empiricals. That may also commit this mistake. If they do, pick the nearest answer. Mm -hmm. 20. Ethanol can easily be produced. Okay, this is the way they produce a Gokoro fermentation of starch. That's the answer. 21, an example of element that can catenate. I think I've said it earlier on, is carbon. Carbon has this property to do what? To catenate. 22, the reaction of an alkene with hydrogen in the presence of a catalyst. Okay, alkene is a double bond, is unsaturated, that is addition reaction. Addition reaction. 23, so number of isomers formed by, all right, this is an extended learning anyway. So basically, this is five. Same molecular formula, different structures. We are going to do it maybe in another lesson, but time cannot permit me because I'm even running out of time now. We are using like 35 or so minutes now. We have to use, I want to reduce it to like 40 minutes at maximum. Okay? 
So the answer to this is what? Is um, five. Okay. Number 20. Maybe I'm going to write the different one in the description. Number 24. Are synthetic and natural macromolecules respectively? It's under polymers. Under polymers. All right? This is under polymers. You have to know the synthetic and the natural ones. All right? The natural ones include your proteins, your carbohydrates, your rubber. Okay? Your proteins, your carbohydrates, and your rubber. Meanwhile, this is talking about synthetic force and um, natural second as a pair. Then synthetic and natural as another pair. So the answer to this the answer to this is hemoglobin is natural. Nylon is synthetic. We have to start with synthetic first. Nylon is synthetic poly. Ethylene is synthetic. Creatine is natural. Hemoglobin is natural. Right? So if they are talking about synthetic as a peer and natural as a peer, then this is the answer. Nylon is synthetic. Good. Creatine is natural. Polyethylene is synthetic. Hemoglobin is natural. So the answer is C. Because the question is, which of these peers Yes, of synthetic and natural. Now, I think the question is synthetic peers first and natural peers later. So the answer is B. Nylon and polyethylene or polythene, synthetic peer, creatine and hemoglobin, another, another natural peer. So the answer is B. Number 25, red precipitate of copper 1 carbide. Anyway, this is um, the reagent that we use to differentiate our kinds from our kings. Okay, we know that both of them are unsaturated. You can easily differentiate it from our kings using your bromine water and your KMNO4 or your K2Cl2O7, whether acidified or alkaline one. To distinguish between alkenes and alkynes, you can use ammoniac copper one chloride or copper one carbide, as the case may be. Okay, so what we'll be looking for, and if you want to represent it, is, is the alkyne. Is the alkyne. In this case, we are having what? And especially the terminal alkynes, we have C as the answer. We have C as the answer. So let's quickly rush through. The boiling of fat and aqueous caustic soda this is saponification. Saponification. Hydrolysis, I told you what it means. Esterification, what it means. Acidification reaction with acid. Saponification is the way alkaline hydrolysis of fat and oil. Yeah, the like, I just memorize it this way. Saponification is alkali hydrolysis of fat and oil. So the alkali in this case is caustic soda. 27. Polymers is suitable for packaging. Now, on this note, you have to look at the common polymers that we have and their uses. The common polymers that we have and their and their what? And their uses. Right? You have to go through these polymers. The common polymers that we have and their uses. Okay, you can pause the video and learn about these polymers. And learn about these polymers. And learn about these polymers. Okay? can pause the video and learn about these polymers. So without wasting any of our time further, which of following polymers is suitable for packaging and electrical insulation? That's why it's polythene or polyethylene. You can use these two names. 28. 
Intermediate products formed when ethanol is progressively oxidized to ethanoic acid. Remember, alkanol, primary alkanol to alkanal. Ethanol is a primary alkanol. So ethanol becomes ethanol before ethanoic acid. So ethanol. Intermediate products, when ethanol is oxidized to ethanol, the answer is supposed to be ethanol. This B should be ethanol. 29, not propanol. Ethanol is a mistake from the first question. The compound above is, I'll um, attach the link to where I discussed the way we name organic compounds so that we don't waste time. This is the, you can start from this as the fourth carbon, second carbon, third, and fourth. Okay, one, two. So the hydroxyl is on carbon number two. One, two, three, four. So that's put and two or and it is one, two is a secondary alkanol. Why? Okay, because the carbon carrying the OH is having just two alkyl group attached to it. A CH3 and a C2H5. Okay, if it is having just one alkyl group, it is a primary alkanol. Two key groups secondary, three key groups tertiary alkanol. So I don't want to. I've taken enough time already. Taking enough time already, right? So please um, go through this. You can. Somebody, some people complain that I'm too fast. I may be too fast. The reason is. To achieve brevity, shortage of time. I want to be economical with time. So please accept this as my little talking. Thank you for listening. You can proceed further. This is just within 2000 and 2002. 29 questions or 28. I think there's a mistake in the numbering. Right, on average, nine questions on organic chemistry a year. So thank you for listening.